What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of JL Fishing. Today I'm going to show you how to change your lower unit oil. Uh, it's going to be the same across the board. No matter what boat brand you got, it's going to be generally the same. I have a Yamaha 200 Show. Uh, this is actually going to be part of be a two-part little series. I'm going to show you how to change the lower unit oil. And then I'm going to change you. Change you. <laughs> then I'm going to show you how to change the oil in your four-stroke Yamaha. That right there will be different from from different whatever four stroke you guys gonna be different generally but uh yeah follow along and you might learn some tips i don't know but if anything i mean you might get a laugh a couple times or something you know but uh yeah so i got this uh this kit from part video i think it was i'll link it in the description but uh it comes with everything you need to change your oil besides the coffee thing i'll put that in there uh but yeah it comes with everything you need but today we are specifically going to come Gear case gear. Even comes with your own little pump. Okay, so starting off, I want to apologize for it being dark. I'm in the building. There's it's pretty cold outside. It's starting to sprinkle, so I just kept it in the building, and uh, that way we're in the dry and out of the wind. Uh, everything that needs to be done will be on the starboard side of your boat. I'm gonna start off with an allen wrench and you're gonna stick it right in there well not like that but like this there we go and we're just gonna turn it maybe turn it a little bit more until that side falls out <laughs> and then we have that open now two screws we're gonna be messing with is this one and that one the crazy thing is there's like a suction or a vacuum in here that I can take this screw out right here, right now, and it not leak a bit because this screw's in. So what I'm gonna do, put the coffee mug up under there, coffee tub, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take this screw out now. There we go. All right. So that's coming out. This bottom nut is magnetic, that way if any metal shavings get shaved off, because there is, it's normal to have some metal shavings. If it get, any metal shavings get in the gear case, it could mess it up. So they, they sink to the bottom and this magnetic screw will hold on to it. And as you can see, it's not really that bad. I mean, there's some on there, but there's no big chunks or nothing, so. And you should start to see it leaking at the bottom. There we go. As you can see, it's not really bad at all. It's pretty clear. And just like the color of food we put in there, which has been about a year since I've changed it. The only reason I'm changing all these is uh, all the fluids is I had a new rebuild last year. The kit's a whole lot cheaper if you just buy it all and do it yourself. Because a dealer's gonna charge you like, what, four to $600. This kit, don't mark me for my words, but I'm pretty sure it was $172. And it's just such easy work. Like, it's unbelievable. Anybody can do it. Just uh, be sure to watch these videos. These videos will, will walk you through it. I will change the oil motor next. Okay, so now the oil's stopped draining out. I've already put this pump in the quarter oil, but I'm gonna have to take it back out just to get the thing to go on. Okay, so thread this on. Now that that's in there, just nice and snug. Put that back in the pump. Pop our hands off a little bit. Now, screw this down on the quart of oil, and we are going to pump it. You can see it going up the tube right there. We are, we're going to pump through this whole first quart and some of the next one. Okay, we've already went through our first quart. And we're just gonna swap them out. Just like that. And just keep on pumping. All right, you see it starting to come out the top. I'm gonna to keep pumping till a lot of the air bubbles are gone. So you have like another three quarters of a quart to play with there. So give it to it, you know? Make sure it's, it's good and cleaned out. Parts view does give you the, the gaskets and everything too. 
So be sure to swap out your old gaskets. Put some fresh ones on there. I'm gonna give it a little bit more right there. And I'm gonna shove this bad boy in there. Well, maybe a little bit too much. Now you thread it in there. Make sure it's snug. I don't want to turn it too hard because you don't want to strip it out, but you do want to get it in the snug so it don't fly out going down the lake. Okay, so let me zoom back out. When I let go of this right here, the fluid is going to stay up in there because of the vacuum. Just a little bit might drain out, but it's no big deal. Let's see, there we go. Clean off the tip because like I said, it is magnetized. So you want to clean that off really good before sticking it back in there. Then put you your new gasket on there. When it's snug, just tie it down just a little bit more. Now just wipe it up a little bit, clean her up. Okay, now that we're all good, just gonna double check all the fittings again. All the fittings, <laughs> what am I talking about? All the freaking bolts, nuts, whatever. Now we'll put this back on there. Just like that, and the other side will fit in just the same. And there we go, we'll get our Allen wrench. Just tighten her down. Just nice and snug, and that right there is how you change the oil in your lower unit. And that's it for this episode, or teaching segment. I know you might be thinking, why would you be taking notes from a non-mechanically inclined person like me? But let me tell you, I know my boat pretty well. I may not knew what I was talking about while working on the lower unit, but trust me, my work is good. And you can trust me on it too. So if this helps you, drop a comment, just let me know. And uh, I'm very interactive on there. I'll get back with you if you have any questions or anything like that. And I'll be sure to link the kit in the description. And uh, part two will be coming along when it's not raining and I can get outside and change the oil in the motor. Be sure to watch for that one. That ought to be a kicker too. <laughs> but uh, I feel like I'm supposed to say something else. Oh, that's it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We out of here. We'll see you.